Meditation is that opportunity, is that chance where we can take our mask off even if it is for a few minutes. When I say this mask, what do I mean by this mask? When we are small children, we go through a lot of learnings in school, from the parents, from the culture, from society, from so many different sources, we gather this learning which forms a mask layer by layer on us. In other words, in English, we can call it personality, persona, mask, costume, anything, however you want to call it. But this is something which gathers, we gather this at such an early age, even before we know who we really are, we gather this and then we carry this on throughout our lives without giving it a chance to take this off, without knowing who is behind this mask. And we continue to function with this mask throughout our life, trying to know who we really are through the mask, but not really looking behind who is really behind the mask. We try to fulfill our desires, our wishes, our searches for happiness, for meaning through the mask. We try to fulfill the mask and not the person who is behind the mask. In 90s there was a movie by Jim Carrey called The Mask. It was a very entertaining movie. I'm reminded of this movie because what this movie depicted was that the person is an ordinary person. He's powerless. He's having lots of flaws. But the moment he puts his mask on, he becomes empowered. He can do anything that he wants. He has special abilities. To me, it's in reality, it's the other way around. When we put the mask on, we are ordinary. When we put the mask on, we are limited. When we put the mask on, we are full of flaws. But behind that, if you take that mask off, you are limitless. You are flawless. You are already perfect the way you are. But we don't know who is behind this mask. We don't know how to take this mask off. We have even forgotten in our daily lives that we are having this mask on. In Zen tradition, when a meditator comes to a monastery, he comes in the process of learning what is meditation, learning what is spirituality, how to lead life. He comes to a Zen master asking for teachings and the Zen master says, go find what's your original face. And the student is let out to meditate over this one sentence, one koan, one question, what is my original face? And the meditator spends years just meditating on this one question, what is my original face? He or she, whenever he finds an answer, he goes back to the Zen master and tries to answer what his original face is. And the Zen master with a look knows whether he has found, whether he has realized his original face or not, and he sends the student back. Only when the student comes back to the Zen master and the Zen master sees a complete silence, a complete awareness on the face of the person, on the face of the meditator, he knows, he knows the meditator has realized he knows the meditator has been to a place where he should be and then 
he lets the meditator go there is no further teaching given there is no further anything further imparted to the student he is allowed to go back into the world so simple one question what is my original face such a simple question such a simple process takes years takes lifetimes what i would like to dedicate this session to today is for you to take few moments out of your life doing so many things coming out of different backgrounds to take this moment to come together with me here to unmask oneself to try to see what our original face is to take layer by layer each aspect of what we think who we really are we think we are the body we think we are the mind we think we are our names our descriptions our identifications today just for a few moments i would like you to put your name aside put your descriptions aside put your titles aside your country your religion anything that you think you are your mind your thoughts even your body take this moment to put that aside and see what is left what is left when all what you think you are is put aside even the notion of what we think who we really are because we have gone through so many learnings in life most of us are also interested in spirituality in spiritual quests we have gathered so much knowledge experiences i would like to request you to take this opportunity to even put that aside to say whatever i know about who i am whatever i think i am just for few moments i put it aside and let's and let's see what happens